they mention what would have been the contract price you are doing for which year that is for December 2019. So 6 lakh, 50 percent is 3 lakh, 90 percent is 5 lakh, 40 thousand. Notional profit into 2 divided by 3 into cash received divided by work certified. Whatever they retain, that's called retention money that will be paid when the contract is completed. Hello, my dear student. I am Dr. B.S. Subramanya, called by name Dr. B.S.S., Professor in Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Trade College, a Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. I am going to hand Advanced Cost and Management account for fifth semester BCom, and the session goes to two contract casting. I told in the last session. What is a contract account? It is an agreement between the two parties. Which are the two parties? Are contractor and the contractee. Who is the contractor? When you execute the work. Who is the contractee? The man who contributes for the sake of the constraint. Who is the owner of the contract? And he gives the contract work to contractor. It is an agreement between the two parties. Whatever the price fixed for these two parties is called contract price. So contract is an agreement between the two parties. Regarding this profit, you must be very, very careful regarding the profit is considered. If the work is started and completed in the same year, there is no problem in calculation of profit. If the work is started and completed after two or three years, the profit can be calculated as follows. You compare with the work certified and the contract price. If the work certified is less than one fourth of the contract price, whatever the difference comes, that goes to profit in result. If the work certified is one fourth, but less than 50%, then profit will be transferred to profit and loss of zone as well as as follows you can say profit transfer profit and loss account is equal to notional profit into 1 divided by 3 into cash received divided by work certified i will repeat the profit transfer profit and loss account is equal to notional profit into 1 divided by 3 into cash received divided by work certified if the work certified is half more than half Less than 90%, the profit transfer to profit and loss account is equal to notional profit into 2 divided by 3 into cash received divided by work certified. This should be remembered always. This is a very good example for you. We will move on to problem now. This is a problem they have given. The contract account is for the year ending on 31st December 2019. So we are doing the contract work for which year? 31st December 2019. Your contract price is 6 lakh. The workout, the contract price has given 6 lakh. Materials will come on the debit side. Material from stores will come on the debit side. Material return to store will come on the contract account credit side. Material last, contract account credit side by profit and loss account material last. Materials at side, contract account credit side. Labor, contract account, debit side. Direct expenses, contract account, debit side. Architect's fees, contract account, debit side. Establishment charges, contract account, debit side. Plant issued, contract account, debit side. Planted side, contract account, credit side. Accrued wages, contract account, debit side. Accrued expenses, Contract account debit side. Work uncertified, work certified, contract account credit side has work in progress carried down, work certified, work uncertified. Cash received only for farm. Ah, it is only for your farm. You have to prepare contract account, contract account, show how work in progress appears in the balance sheet. If you want, I can repeat. Contract price, this is for sake of the formula means they mention what would have been the contract price you are doing for which year, that is for December 2019. Material debit side, material from store debit side, material return to store credit side, material loss credit side by profit and loss account, material loss, material at side, credit side, labor debit side, direct expenses debit side, Architect's fees, debit side, establishment charges, debit side, plant issued, debit side, planted side, debit side, accrued wages, debit side, accrued expenses, debit side, 
work uncertified certified credit side by work in progress carried the work certified add work uncertified cash receipt only for formula here you have to calculate one contract account contract account and show how work in progress appears in the balance sheet we'll move on to problem now we'll go one by one all expenses should be shown on the debit side what is the first item materials two materials ah what is the cost of the material now material 1 lakh 20000 Your material cost is one lakh twenty thousand. What is next one? Material from stores. Two materials from stores. Two materials from stores. How much it is? Forty-five thousand. Two material one lakh twenty thousand material from stores forty-five thousand. What next? Here material returned to stores. How much value by material returned to store four thousand? By materials returned to stores. By material returned to see that how much it is by four thousand. By material return to store four thousand. By profit and loss account, material lost five thousand. This is material lost. This is your material lost five thousand. What is next one? Material at side. What is next one? Material at side twenty two thousand. By Material at site twenty two thousand. Okay. Ah, uh, what is next one? Material at site is over. Labor charges one lakh forty thousand. Labor labor charges one lakh forty thousand. Labor charges one lakh forty thousand. What is next one? Direct expenses sixty thousand. Direct expenses sixty thousand. Direct expenses sixty thousand. What is the next one? See that. Architect's fees. Direct expenses sixty thousand. Architect's fees two thousand. Architect's fees. Two thousand. Architect's fees two thousand. What next? Establishment charges twenty five thousand. Establishment charges twenty five thousand. Establishment charges twenty five thousand. What next? This over. Plant issued here. Plant issued is eighty thousand. Plant issued eighty thousand. Plant issued is eighty thousand. What next? Planted side sixty five thousand. Planted side sixty five thousand. Ah, uh, what next? This over accrued wages ten thousand. Accrued wages ten thousand. Accrued wages ten thousand. What is next one? Accrued expenses six thousand. Accrued expenses six thousand. Accrued expenses six thousand. What next? This over. Work uncertified, work certified. By work in progress carried down. How to write? By work in progress carried down. Yeah, work certified. 
वॉट्स युअर वर्क सर्टिफाइड सी दैट फोर लैक ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड बी वर्क अनसर्टिफाइड ट्वेंटी थ्री थाउजेंड एड फोर लैक फोर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड वॉट नेक्स्ट यू गॉट कैश रिसीव दट इज फॉर द सेक ऑफ ओनली फॉर फॉर्मुला सो I will explain once again. Before that, we'll bring out the difference now. Four lakh forty-three thousand. We'll add the figure now. Four lakh forty-three thousand plus sixty-five thousand plus twenty-two thousand plus five thousand plus four thousand. Is equal to five lakh thirty nine thousand. Come here, five lakh thirty nine thousand. Uh, what's the value? Five lakh thirty nine thousand. You can see that now. Five lakh thirty nine thousand. Deduct minus one lakh twenty thousand minus forty five thousand minus. One lakh forty thousand minus sixty thousand minus two thousand minus twenty five thousand minus eighty thousand minus ten thousand minus six thousand is equal to fifty one thousand. Difference is fifty one thousand. That is the notional profit carried down. That is a notional profit. Cash. All expenses will come on the debit side. Material is an expenditure debit side. Material from store is an expenditure debit side. Labor is an expenses debit side. Direct expense is an expenditure debit side. Architect expense is an expenses debit side. Establishment expenses debit side. Plant issue debit side. Accrued wages debit side. Accrued expenses debit side. Closing balance by material returned to store. By profit and loss account, by material at side, by work in progress carried down, work certified, add work uncertified. So you bring out a difference. Fifty one thousand is a notional profit. Then brought down that figure by notional profit. Brought down fifty one thousand. Uh, what's your formula says? If the work certified. Is half more than half less ninety percent? You have to calculate two by three. If you see or no, your work certified is four lakh twenty. Your cat work certified is four lakh twenty thousand. What's your contract price? Six lakh. That means you have to compare with the work certified and the contract price. So six lakh fifty percent is three lakh. Ninety percent is five lakh forty thousand. Less than ninety percent, you have to charge the two by three. That formula you have to charge. Here, two profit and loss account. Two profit and loss account formula. Notional profit into two divided by three. Into cash received divided by work certified. Ah, uh, what's your formula? Notional profit into two divided by three into cash received divided by work certified. What's your notional profit? Fifty one thousand into two divided by three into what's your cash received? Three lakh seventy eight thousand. Three lakh seventy-eight thousand. What's your work certified? Four lakh twenty thousand. What's your formula? Notional profit fifty-one thousand into two by three into cash received divided by work certified. Cancel the three zeros. Now fifty-one thousand into two divided by three into three seventy-eight divided by Four two zero is equal to thirty thousand six hundred. Profit transfer to prop contract account thirty thousand six hundred. Difference fifty one thousand fifty one thousand. Deduct thirty thousand six hundred zero zero one.
20,400. 6 plus 4, 10. 1 carry, 3 plus 2, 5. Difference is 20,400. That is profit in reserve. There is a profit in reserve. Comes how much? 20,400. I think you have followed. What is the formula? If the work certified is half or more than half, then the contract price you have to charge 2 by 3 up to 90. More than 90 different formula. It is a 2 by 3. Then we will go to contract account. How much cash received here? 3,78,000. Contract account. 31 December 19. This is the end of the year. By bank account. Cash received. How much cash received? 3,78,000. 3,78,000. Debit side. 31st December 2019. Two balance carried down. 3,78,000. This goes in favor of contract. What's the entry? Bank account data to contract account. Who will pay? The contractor will pay the contractor. How much money? 3,78,000 for a contract price of 6 lakh. The balance he is going to pay. The, whatever they retain, that's called retention money. That will be paid when the contract is completed. Then we'll move on to work in progress. What is your work certified? 4,20. Uncertified is 23,000. Work certified 4,20,000. Work uncertified 23,000. It becomes 4,43,000. Minus cash received 3,78,000. Seventy-eight thousand. Deduct zero, zero, zero. This is five. This is six. Sixty-five thousand minus profit in reserve. Twenty thousand four hundred. Deduct zero, zero. This is six. This is four. This is four. 44,600. How to work out? Work certified, add work uncertified, minus cash received, minus profit in reserve. All the expenses should be shown on the debit side. All the closing balance will be shown on the trade side. Planted side, plant issue debit side, planted side credit side. Material issue debit side, material at side, credit side. So all the closing balance should be shown on the credit side. Whatever the difference comes, that is a notion profit. According to that formula, you have to be transferred to profit and loss account. So we work out now two problems now. We have worked out one unit from one contract for one year. We have worked out two problems. We have worked out one year contract here. In the next session, we'll go to the Two years contract. In the next session, another session, we'll go to three years contract. So, same thing, whatever you have done for one year, same thing goes to two years also, nothing, no? Instead of one year, we'll do for the two years contract, that is, the contract price remains for the two years are considered. But only contract account, you must remember what you have to do. Very, very easy problem they are going to ask in the exam. This is a definite chapter for 15 months. One chapter is already completed, that is, uh, Different methods of costing we already done that will come for as a theory 15 marks. This is a practical question. You are going to get another 15 marks. Very easy problem they are going to ask. In the next session, we will move on to two years contract. Till then, goodbye. Meet in the next session with a two years contract.